don't show. We are continuing with our exercise of lesson 5. We were doing that in our workbook page number 28. This exercise number 5 complete le tableau. Sorry, complete le tableau. Complete the table. Singulier, pluriel. Singulier, masculin, feminin. Annual, des yeux. Des fear, une fear. Singular would be une fear here in feminine version. Then you have une beauté, a bottle, a bottle. Some bottle is plural. What will you write here? De beauté, D E S space B O U T E I L L E S. Because when objects goes to plural, we add an S. Then underneath yun wa wa means you have a box. Then some boxes, some boxes. How will you write? De wa b e s space b o i with circumflex t e s de wa. Then we have here de crayon is given. Crayon is masculine. So, in masculine, we write a crayon, U-N-A space C-R-A-Y-O-N. Then, we have a ballon. A ballon is given. Plural of it will be de ballon. D-E-S-B-A-L-L-O-N-S. Ballon. Okay. Then, we have de, uh, sorry, de kahie. Not chase, but kahie. Kahie means books. The singular of it will go in masculine because in textbook it is masculine. A kahie, U N A space C A H I E R kahie. Okay. On page number twenty nine, exercise six. Classe le no. O masculine, feminine, o plural, selon l'article. Sort out the nouns under masculine, feminine, or plural according to the articles. What are these articles? E, yun, and de. <coughs> Whatever a, a word starts with e, you are going to fill up in this circle. Yun, you are going to fill in this middle circle. And Plural, you are going to fill up in this last circle because it is explained underneath masculine singular, feminine singular and plural of both. So, this box has all the words and you are going to write each in all these three. The words estilo, it is there in masculine circle, then yungo. You are going to write here between feminine circle. Then you have de bute, some bottles. So you are going to write in plural, okay? This way you are going to fill all these three boxes. Estilo, yun gom, yun table, de bute, e crayon, yun class, e livre, de cahier. De cartable, yun chaise, de trousse, et garçon. Now each of these three circles will have at least four four names. So four threes are twelve. Just tell it these twelve names and write it here. Alright. Then last one is écrivez un mot avec chaque lettre donnée. Write one word with each letter given. A, B, C, D is given. And you are going to write some names on it. C is given. You write crayon. T is given. You write trousse or tight crayon. B is given. Bute. G is given. Go. E is given. A call. All these names, where do you find? Vocabulary. So print in mind your vocabulary of all the chapters. 
your alphabets A to Z with French name and 0 to 20 with French name. Print this in your mind and you will find this easy and very interesting. Now if we turn to page number 3030, we have two exercises. Kaske say what is this? What are these? And answers are given. You are going to put the questions. Okay. First is example given. A pen. How will you write in French? Certain stylo. This is your school bag. How will you write in dash? A cartable. C apostrophe. E S T. Say space U N N space C A R T A B L E cartable full stop when sentence ends we do put a full stop. Same way here two books are given so plural so so they leave C E S -E, space S O N T song. Space D E S D space L I V R E S Livre because it is plural. Then O car O car second vacuum. Then a group of butterflies. Sa so de papillon. Then an aeroplane. Certain avion. And your exercise is done. Now what is this ninth exercise? Passe, sorry, pose la bon question qu'est-ce que c'est ou qui est? Ask the correct question qu'est-ce que c'est or qui est? If it is things, you are going to ask qu'est-ce que c'est and then if it is the name of a person that is proper noun, we ask the question qui est? First is set cune chaise. This is a chair. Then what would be the question? Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? Then say Monsieur Pascal. Monsieur Pascal, a name of a person. Then we do not ask what is this. We ask who is this? Or who is he or she? Then what is who is he or she in French? Qui yes. So we write the question here in blank. Qui yes. Answers are given. You have to put the correct question. Ce sont Pierre et Michel. Now Pierre and Michel both are boys. And who are they is the question. Who are they in French is qui yes. Again, you are going to write in blank. Key yes. Then you have set you what you. This is a car. What is this? Is the question. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Ce sont des cartables. These are some school bags. What are these? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Common for both. So you can write the correct uh, uh, question by copying it from the instruction itself. Okay. This was your fifth lesson and you are going to get your answers soon. Okay. In your group of WhatsApp. Now you all know your fruits and vegetables. Right. So today I am going to give you a brief introduction on your fruit. Lesson 6. Lesson 6 and 7. Very interesting. And you are going to learn all your fruits and vegetables in this chapter. Okay. Now we have already learned 5 chapters in the textbook. And in your textbook now comes your Disneyland. Disneyland is in France also. So in Disneyland you have some cartoon characters and their names in French are given here. 
after this Disneyland characters, your sixth lesson starts. Okay? It is on page 54 and 55 of your textbook on Shorte book number 0. Now you all have cartoon characters and cartoon characters in French are Les Dessine Anime. That is cartoon characters. Donald Duck. Donald is a duck. Then duck in French is canard. How will you speak Donald Duck in French? Donald le canard. Then we have Mickey Mouse. Mickey la souris. Because mouse in French is known as souris. Then you have Goofy. Goofy in French is known as Tango. Aladdin, you all know. And Aladdin in French is known as Aladdin. Then Snow White. Snow White in French is known as Blanche Neige. Because snow is white in color. And snow is known as Neige. And Blanche is white color. Okay, Blanche Neige. Here they are given. Don, Donald Le Canard. Donald Duck, Mickey La Suri, Mickey Mouse, Dango, Goofy, Aladdin, Aladdin, Blanche Neige, Snow White. Right? Now, a small introduction to your lesson. Six. J'aime les fruits. I like the fruits. Is the translation. Of lesson six, j'aime les fruits. You all love fruits and you must be eating them in various seasons throughout the year. So, your friends Paul and Sarah are telling, Hey Sarah, is it true that apple is very popular in France? Sarah replies, Yes, it is true. And that is why they have a large menu of apple dishes. See? One fruit and so many new new dishes made out of it in France. Nice and informative. Lesson says, J'aime les fruits. I like the fruits. Your apple is known as la pomme. Then peach is known as la pêche. Cherries are known as les cerises. Lemon is known as le citron. Now kiwi is known as le kiwi. Strawberry is known as fraise. La fraise. Ananas, that is your pineapple. Pineapple has a Gujarati name, which is also a French name. L'ananas. Then you have banana. Banana in French is known as la banane. Grapes always comes in a group. Le raisin. Then orange. That is orange. L'orange. Your mango is known as la mangue. Then pear. Which you eat is la poire. Guava is known as la goyave. And Watermelon is known as la pastèque. La pastèque. Now you already learned en, yun, and de. O or n masculine singular. En. O or n feminine singular. Yun. Some masculine and feminine plural of both. That is indefinite articles. Now in this chapter you are going to learn fruits. In definite articles, that is le, la, le, l apostrophe, okay, which is known as the in English. Okay, how to pronounce and write them, we will learn in next topic. First, we will learn how to pronounce your fruits. One and once again, la pomme, la pêche. Le cerise, le citron, le kiwi, la fraise, 
l'ananas, la banane, les raisins, l'orange, la mangue, la poire, la goyave, la pastèque. Ok? This was your fruits introduction. And to article definite, we will continue in the next chapter. Uh, sorry, in the next lecture, in the same chapter, Je les fruits. Your introduction to lesson 6, Je les fruits. Before that, we did Disneyland and before that, we finished two or three exercises which were remaining in workbook for lesson 5. Till then, au revoir. See you in the next lecture. Au revoir.